Hi, welcome back to Time in the UK. I've um, got another little thermostat to look at today. This time it is an EPH controls. It's a CP4 programmable RF thermostat and receiver. It's open therm and it's boiler plus. Not too sure what Ember means. It says it's got a five year warranty on it. Okay. So, I've got this instruction book there, which is a uh, reasonably good quality instruction book. Colour pictures and stuff like that to help you. We've got a few functions on here. We've got the LEC, L, LCD's display, how to reset the, phone, the, the thermostat, lock and unlock, setting the date and time. And how to wire it in and stuff like that. The boost buttons on the front of the receiver and stuff like that. So let's have a quick look at it because I'm not one for reading instructions. So this is your thermostat unit. This is the receiver. Inside the box we've got a couple of batteries. And we've got a stand. Go. Helps if you get it the right way around, I suppose. That's nice to go like that. The head unit. Here we go, and it's on a stand ready to rock. The battery compartment is here. Okay. Okay, so the batteries have just gone in. And we're now displaying, what are we displaying? The time, the temperature. Right, okay. So, let's, let's try programming this. Now, I'm not gonna look at the instructions because that would be an admission of weakness, wouldn't it, looking at the instructions? So let's go for time. Uh, the first thing it says year, so let's change that to 22, press OK, uh, month, second month, and date, we are today on the 23rd, let's go down to that one, 23rd, OK, time, 10 past 11, so... 11 okay okay so that's the time set so hopefully that's going to be a.m. although it's just it's saying it's 23.02 okay so 23rd of the second 11 yeah so that's the time okay so another button that we've got is program let's try program it so Monday, 6.30 in the morning, okay, you can change that to 7.30 or 6. Okay, does it like that? Does it by 10 minute slots? Change it to 7.30, yeah. And then temperature that you want at 7.30, 21 degrees. And then at 8 o'clock you want 10 degrees. Let's change that to 14, 10 is too low. Change that to 16 actually, there we go. Uh, 12 o'clock, we've got 10 degrees, again, too low. And this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then two o'clock in the afternoon, and we can change that to 20 degrees. Yep. And then uh, 5.30, we can have 21 degrees. And at 10 o'clock at night, it's going for 10 degrees, and I would always recommend you have that at 14, personally. Yeah, and that's the week times set. Same again for the Saturdays. Uh, I've not set that, we don't need to set it. Uh, you just go through your programs one after the other, and that's all set. Okay, and it looks like you can copy Monday, for example, 
across, yeah. Uh, holiday function, you can probably put, set when you're leaving for your holiday and you set when you're coming back. And then we can set it to auto, right? So auto, it just runs. Manual, you'll be taking out of the time and date equation. You'll just be using your up and down arrows to set. This will become a basic thermostat. Okay, so just be setting a basic thermostat. Off, summer, you don't want your heating on. You want it off, there you go. Heating is off. Program, set the program. Time, set the time. Holiday, to set your holiday. You're going away for 10 days. You put the day that you're leaving and then you put it to come back on the day before you come back to warm your house up for you. And then you've got a boost function which just boosts everything up. Okay. Your boost is 21 degrees. Okay, so you can program a boost that you want, a temperature that you want to boost it to, which in this case will be 21 degrees. So that's quite simple and straightforward. Um, that's all set up now. And then we have this little unit here. Um, and you can see we've got the printed circuit board there, you've got a relay here and some um, doodabs there. Okay, so to wire this up, you remove this plastic cover to get to the screws. So with the little plastic cover removed, you can now access the screws, which is a case of just doing them and putting your wire in. And starting from the left, we've got your on, you've got your common, so your common wire will come in here, and you've got your off. So if you were using a, um, a cooling system like a, an air, air conditioning unit you would connect connect those two if you're using a boiler you connect these two i believe uh, live and neutral there self-evident but this uh, unit also has a connection for open therm so if your boiler is open therm compatible you can connect it there which i'd highly advise you do uh, that just allows this little unit to talk to this unit to talk to your boiler sorry and then everything will be all smelling rosy because the boiler will be able to work more efficiently. Um, yeah, Open Therm is a programming language. It allows the uh, it allows the controls to modulate the boiler. So a little bit like you driving your car, your accelerator is not an on and off switch. It's a you graduate it by pressing harder or slower. If you get up to the speed limit, you're going to ease off the pedal, aren't you? So what the, this this will do is, when the boiler is getting up to temperature, the, the boiler will sort of modulate. It will the control will modulate the boiler down so that it doesn't overshoot the target temperature by too much. Okay, so that's how this works. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. And on the front of here, we've got a manual button. And a few sort of little fault finding tells you where you've got a signal and all that sort of stuff. So, on the face of it, a very nice control, uh, fairly easy to use, and um, it comes in at a fairly decent price actually. Um, I think about £50, I think, for the, the CP4 unit by EPH. So, I fitted a few of these and I found them very reliable, I've got no issues with them at all. Um, and they're fairly easy to use. So, yeah, that's your EPH CP4 programmable wireless room thermostat with open therm. Thanks for, thanks for popping by for um, the overview video. Um, I might go a little bit more into depth with this, but I personally don't think that uh, I really need to because it's, it's so simple to set up. Um, but then I'm, I, I am familiar with heating controls and I do do it a lot, so yeah. But there we go, that's the EPH wireless thermostat. And I've been Time in the UK. Please like, comment and subscribe and come back for more videos. Thank you.